Welcome to the Michigan Golfer Show. Join us each week as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great game. Hi, I'm Jack Berry, and I'm at the West Michigan Golf Show, and the most colorful bunch in this whole show is from Maple Hill Golf, and they are brightening the winter day, and here they all are. Look at that. What an array. I mean, have you ever, have you ever seen John, John, John Daly is having a fit that he can't get all this. Hi, this is Peter Allen from the West Michigan Golf Show. I'm here with Ryan Gumper from Gull Lake View, and he's going to tell us a little bit about the courses. Uh, we have five different golf courses within the uh, resort. We have our east and west course where our villas are located. We have uh, 64 villas for anybody who wants to come stay and play. Two miles down the road are uh, the north and south course at Stonehenge. And then our fifth course is Bedford Valley, about 15 minutes away. A uh, couple new changes we've done at the resort. Uh, Gull Lake View now has a new range. Uh, we got some new carts last year. Uh, Bedford Valley, they switched uh, the 10th and the, the 10th and the 18th tee around, so a couple new changes out there. And uh, Stonehenge is still doing their thing there. We haven't made any changes with the course, but they're uh, still doing great there. So uh, I understand that uh, Debbie and Jim Scott have retired, and so who's running the operation now? Uh, Jim's brother Charlie, who was uh, part of the uh, three-way ownership before Jim and Debbie retired, are still there. Him and his son now have uh, taken over the shares. Uh, John Scott is his son. Uh, Jimmy's uh, or Jimmy and Debbie are still doing good. They still come around a little bit. Uh, Charlie and John, uh, they're doing good things for the resort. We're spending money where we need to spend it, and uh, we're making improvements across the board. So I think everybody really like what they're doing so far. Which course seems to be the most popular with people who? come there to pick from the five? I'd have to go with uh, Stone Edge South Course. I think uh, minus the rounds, everybody really likes that one the best. You know, In the fall when the leaves change colors, it's just gorgeous with the uh, backdrops and all the stone walls and the, the trees changing. So South Course by far, I think, is the most popular one out of the five. Uh, Ryan, can you give our uh, viewers a website where they can find information about the, your facility? Definitely. It's uh, golakeview.com. It's uh, just how it sounds. Three L's at the uh, the goal in the lake, and everything you want there is really, you can find everything there. So, well, thank you for your time. Thank you. With uh, Nick Cavella from uh, Ellie Coffin Golf Course in Wyoming, Michigan, and he's going to tell us a little bit about the course. Well, Kaufman Golf Course has been blossoming over the last couple of years. We've, we're renovating our uh, dwellers, putting, putting in work on the course. Uh, we've experienced a lot of traffic over the last couple of years and uh, hope to continue to grow as uh, one of the best public courses in the greater Grand Rapids area. Uh, Nick, can you give us a website so people can get some information about the course? Absolutely. Our, uh, you can find us online at KaufmanGolfCourse.com. I'm with Sam Pyle here from Tyler Creek Recreation Area. I'm going to let him describe uh, the facilities there. Thank you very much. Uh, most of the facilities are the 18-hole golf course on the front of the property. Uh, front nine's a little bit shorter with some uh, some postage stamp greens. Uh, back nine's quite a bit longer, a little bit more open, a lot more link style. Uh, then we have 200 uh, campsites on the back of the property, uh, swimming pool, playground, uh, volleyball area, basketball, kind of covers everything in the campground. Uh, then we have a registered trout stream that runs through the property, so, um, so we're pretty popular among the, uh, the uh, trout fishermen, trout anglers. And uh, is that trout stream uh, uh, fly fishing only? No, not on the property. There are sections of the stream that are fly fishing only, but uh, not, not on the property. Uh, anglers are more than welcome to come in and park in the parking lot and, and use the facilities. Tyler Creek for a number of years, and the last time I came back, they have a nice new clubhouse. Yeah, a new clubhouse has been up for about 10 years now. Uh, we've kind of modeled it after a farm farm on the front of the property. Uh, it's got, uh, you can see it about 40 people up top and about 30 people down below for uh, banquets and meetings. Uh, and then we also have a tent that we put up behind that can hold about uh, 200 people for, for most of our golf outings. Uh, Sam, can you give uh, our audience a website where you can 
get some information about your course? Yeah, just uh, www.tylercreekgolf.com uh, and like us on Facebook. And I'm with Andy Mears from Island Hills Golf Course. Andy, give us a, a little bit of knowledge about what's going on at Island Hills. Absolutely. Uh, Ray Hearn uh, has come back in, the original designer, uh, 2010, and did a complete update of the golf course. We added two new holes. We also updated uh, greens and tees and bunkers. Uh, the golf course is absolutely beautiful right now. There's, conditions are as, as premium as you can possibly want, and we're very excited about 2013 season coming up. And I understand you've added some uh, stay and play facilities, is that right? We have. We're going to open Memorial Day weekend our first three golf cottages. Two of the cottages will be four bedrooms, one will be five. There are spacious living quarters uh, overlooking our 17th hole, which is our signature par three, and it sits on the banks of the uh, Lake Ten Plain. So we're very excited about the uh, new accommodations and the offering of stay and play for the first time at Island Hills. Andy, will you give us a website so our customers can know how to get information about the course? Absolutely. IslandHillsGolf.com. I'm with Aaron Mower uh, from Beaches Golf Club, and Aaron's going to tell us a few things about uh, his, his golf course. Well, Beaches is uh, 18 championship holes. We're located in South Haven, Michigan. Uh, it's a link style course. We're seven years old. And uh, we've had a good year last year, and we're growing every year. And Aaron, who's the architect for your course? Uh, Bruce Matthews III is the architect, and uh, he's done a real good job on our course. We like it a lot. Uh, I've seen your course. It uh, looks very wide open. I'm assuming there's a lot of heathers out there. We have a lot of heather. We have a lot of water on the back nine. Um, we got added onto our clubhouse. We added a full banquet facility onto our clubhouse. So uh, we've, we're starting to get weddings in there and some graduation parties. Um, we're coming along really well. Aaron, can you give us a website so people can find out uh, information about your course? Yep, we are beachesgolfclub.com. And Beaches is with two E's because we are for the beach trees. B-E-E-C-H-E-S, golfclub.com.